in the Secretary of State in condemning the appalling murder of the Fogel family last Friday and to associate the shadow front bench with what he said about the implications for the Middle East peace process. Does he agree with me that lasting peace requires reconciliation between citizens as well as agreements between their governments? And therefore, will he join me in praising the brilliant work of One Voice Palestine and One Voice Israel, brave local citizens who are making the case in parallel for a two-state solution? Um, yes, well, the Honourable Gentleman underlines, as I was saying earlier, that the condemnation of the killings at the weekend is, is absolutely shared across this House, uh, and he makes a powerful point uh, that peace in the Middle East will be built on contact between citizens, uh, contact between civil society, as well as on decisions by political leaders. So I certainly join him in congratulating uh, those organizations on their work, and I think we also all urge Israeli and Palestinian leaders to make the most of that work uh, and to seize the opportunities in the coming weeks to advance the peace process.